Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading, the 4th of October 2016. Okay, now um, it's been an impressive move on the FTSE 100 this morning. Again, my uh, analysis certainly was wrong this morning. Stopped out my shorts, currently short again with the stop loss at 7110, and we shall see how that plays out. It certainly is a sterling move, but I'm not convinced as of yet. Okay, certainly not convinced. Be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, economic data, the numbers for this morning at the moment. European stocks certainly flying with the FTSE 100 leading up 1.4%, the DAX up 0.8%, the CAC up 0.8%. And Deutsche Bank concerns certainly are, uh, have been pushed and relegated to the back shelf. Again, no real deal has been confirmed, and yet the markets are totally oblivious to it today. Strange how markets can change, uh, and the sentiment can change very quickly. Okay, so that's that uh, factor certainly didn't play, come into play, even though we have copper right at the lows. Oil prices still uh, uh, rejected 48.5 into that $48 level. Again, European market concerns certainly weighing. We have geopolitical concerns with regards to Russia and the US, and the US, with regards to escalation in nuclear potential war. Now, given the fact that the Russians have certainly exited that potential agreement with regards to plutonium, okay, we have concerns with regards to Saudi stocks hitting uh, multi-year lows. So again, and obviously Italian banks, uh, Spanish and political uncertainty, so on and so forth. So, but again, markets certainly oblivious to that. And the uh, market is certainly choosing to uh, move higher on a weaker sterling, which is very impressive. Okay, now let's look at the um, actual uh, fundamentals for today. Uh, really, it was all about the RBA overnight and uh, ANZ job adverts. This morning, we've had UK construction stronger than expected. Inflation, the Eurozone weaker than expected month on month. And now we have Red Book. We have the uh, dairy trade auction as well from with regards to New Zealand. We have ISM and uh, economic optimism. Yesterday, uh, the economic data from the US overall net net positive, which again should technically have helped the dollar, uh, although it certainly is uh, failing today. So um, let's find out. Let's see exactly where we are technically. It's more of a technical game at present, so let's certainly observe. From my perspective, the German DAX still remains bearish given the fact that we are approaching gap fill resistance, looking for weakness. 60 minute chart holding resistance as well, so therefore looking for weakness. We've had an impressive thrust higher in the back of false rumors with regards to a, uh, a potential settlement, and that hasn't materialized, and nor has it been confirmed. If anything, it's been denied and rejected. So, again, there's no real reason why the German DAX would bounce from 10,200 to 10, almost 10,600 on the back of a false rumor. Okay? And again, there's no confirmation as of yet with regards to it being obviously uh, reduced. 10 minute chart, from my perspective, certainly seems to be exhausted. No higher highs, and therefore looking to move uh, lower on the German DAX. And therefore, by default, you'd expect that to cause weakness on the FTSE 102. French CAC diagonal trend line, you clearly see that we're into resistance. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment, we're approaching resistance and we are near pivot r3 resistance if you look at the 10 minute chart certainly looks exhausted and wants to uh, potentially move lower okay in terms of the FTSE 100 very very impressive move weekly chart at the moment you can see we do have multiple zones of resistance here okay and here okay so you have 7074 you have 7088 And 7120, okay, the ultimate top side, okay. So, again, keep an eye on those zones. Daily chart, FTSE certainly breaking out again, like I said, negating any form of resistance. We did have resistance here on the FTSE around the uh, 7086, negated that too. And the next resistance seems to be at 7122. Well, that's the ultimate resistance at 7122. I didn't expect that resistance to be here at all, okay, I certainly, yes, hence the reason why I was short. Again, 7060, 7070, 7080 are all key resistance zones for the uh, FTSE 100. So again, looking for a potential reversal. Terminate chart on the FTSE itself. Uh, at the moment, we haven't reached pivot uh, R3.
And uh, from my perspective, the, uh, the the unfilled gap remains unfilled at uh, 6985. And, that, and again, previous resistance equals support at 7000. So a potential retest is on the cards, from my understanding. Okay, potential retest is on the cards on the downside for the FTSE 100. In terms of the uh, European steel, Euro stocks 50, let's just bring that up for you as well. Okay, so Euro stocks 50 into that pivot R3 resistance on the daily chart. 10 minute chart again looks exhausted, looking for a reversal, and daily chart still making lower lows. Okay, so a lower high, should I say. So again, looking for a move lower. Euro stocks, given the fact that you have Deutsche Bank concerns, although they have been negated today and ignored today. Okay, market certainly trading in the back of this weaker sterling. And potentially oil prices are being above 48. So again, looking for downside price action from my perspective. Still looking for weakness. Bringing up the stock 600 as well. A daily chart going into gap fill. Going to gap fill resistance. 60 minute chart into horizontal resistance as you can see here. Okay, so again looking for downward movements. Okay, in terms of the uh, market itself. Looking at the CAC volatility index as well. 60 minute chart approaching support. So again, a zone that we are looking at 200 MA for potential support on the French CAC. Looking at individual sectors, FTSE banking sector again has ignored Deutsche Bank concerns, is into potential resistance now and looking for a potential move lower. A lot of hinges on the, uh, the US market, especially given the fact that the NASDAQ setup is bearish. Yeah, we are looking for US markets to certainly lead us lower, especially given the fact that we had hawkish comments yesterday and uh, hence the reason why we are seeing a stronger dollar this morning. Okay, folks, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.